Welcome back to Titan Academy. In this video, we will cover the API and document generation settings in your Titan account. Go to www.formtitan.com, log in, click on the settings tab, and here you will see the API and document generation subtabs. On the API tab, this is where you will enable Titan to access Salesforce over the API. Once you've connected to a Salesforce environment, come to this tab and enable API access here. That will generate an API key. This is a key that you will need for use in various matters such as Salesforce flows, etc. Further details on that will be covered in the appropriate videos. You will at minimum need to grant API access to objects and users. Best practice is to grant API access to all of these elements listed here. Clicking the reset button will reset this API key and generate a new one. Resetting the API key should only be done as a last resort to fix problems. Changing the key has potential impact on any area where this current API key is already in use, such as in Salesforce flows or triggers. Best practice is to only reset the key if advised to do so by a Titan support specialist. On the document generation tab, there are a number of settings for general settings in Salesforce setup for the Titan sign, sign wizard, and CLM. Here you can also enable API access because it's a related matter. You can access that in either place. The custom settings that you see listed here are for a private URL, remote site settings, and a CSP trusted site. These are needed for certain functionality to work within Salesforce. So if you are connected to a Salesforce org and you've installed the Titan App Exchange app, go ahead and click the apply button here and Titan will automatically update these three settings in Salesforce for you. The Titan Sign Wizard options on document generation allow you to customize the email header and footer of the emails that are sent when you send a document out through Titan Sign. Out of the package, emails sent via Titan Sign have a standard header and footer banner. If you customize the header and footer here, that standard banner will be removed and your customizations will instead be used. You can add some custom text. It's rich text, so you can change the font. You can make it bold. You can insert some images if you want. If you don't want any banner or header to appear at all, leave this blank with a single space. That will remove the banner entirely and show nothing in this box. Same thing applies for the custom footer. And same as with the header, if you want no footer at all, just put in a single space and save. In fact, let me open this in Salesforce to show you where this is. This is the Titan sign wizard element that you can drop onto an object in Salesforce. This will be covered in another video, but what you're customizing here is the email that's sent when a document is generated this way. So if you want to change this, put some sample text here. This is for the notification that a document is waiting for review. And this is the notification when the user elects to copy someone on the mail. Same as above, you can add sample text. And again, since it's rich text, you can make things bold, you can make them italic, you can change the font, whatever you want to do. Click Save here, and you're done. And finally, the CLM option are the same mail settings, but for the contract lifecycle management product. Same as with Sign, you can customize the header, you can customize the footer, click Save, and you are good to go. And that's how it's done.